Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5063878 because of this error code 0x800-73712. Now the first step is to run SFC and DISM command. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Uh, once the scan is 100% complete, uh, you can run the second command. You can copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, start app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, then click on restart and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then pause, click on pause over here. And then this process may take some time and then hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer services. Again, type in services in Windows search box and then find windows update here you can see windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart and then you can check still not working now find background intelligent intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok Now with this selected, make a right click, then click on restart and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. Uh, update is KB5063878. And then click on search over here. And then you will see, uh, just ignore the language. Let me translate. Now over here, uh, for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. So you can check what kind of system you have. You can go to Windows settings and then go to system. And then you can go to about. Over here, for me, it's x64 based. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. Click on download. And then over here you will see the update KB5063878. Click on it. And once you click on it, it will download the file. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. And once that is done, this process will take some time. And then restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to fix problems using Windows Update. You can use this option. So for this, you can go to Windows Settings, go to Windows Update, go to Advanced option over here go to recovery option over here and then over here you will see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done login and then you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool Yeah. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And once the download is complete, uh, you run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here. Click on next. Save it to desktop and then go to save. Now, this process will take some time. Let the download complete. Once this is done, you will see finish option. Hit finish. And let this close automatically. Do not close this window manually. Let it close automatically. Then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, and then run this setup file, make a double click, and then click on yes to allow. Click on next over here. Click on accept and ready to install. Here you can see the option to keep personal files and app would be checked by default. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, you can 
log into the computer and then you can try to update your Windows 11 and you should be able to install this update successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.